All right, so you want to become Giga Chad. How do you start? Well, what I started to do was I started to read books, up, 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 but not just any books, but quality ones. And what type of books are that? What, what, what type of books are you reading? Well, thank you for asking, random citizen. Thank you. I'm talking about Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. All right, I'm talking War and Peace by Tolstoy. This one I'm actually reading right now, so I would definitely recommend reading it. I'm talking Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. And this one's actually if you want to be on your villain arc, fellas. I'm talking Crime and Punishment by Dostoyevsky. I'm talking Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. These are all good books that I would definitely recommend reading if you want to become Giga Chad. And you're like, so what? You just named off a bunch of books. So what? You named off a bunch of books. How does this relate to being Giga Chad? Okay, well, first off, all right, all right. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, boys. If people see you walking around with a book, they automatically think you're smart. And that, in turn, is called a halo effect. If you don't know what a halo effect is, Google it. A halo effect is basically where people think that you're smart and or people think that you're good and thus you're kind of seen as good thus it creates a self-fulfilling prophecy thus making you actually good and smart so if you really do want to become giga chad and i'm stressing this if you really do go ahead and start reading books not only because it makes you seem smarter but actually you learn a lot i'm for real you actually do learn a lot so basically i'm a big proponent i'm a big fan or support i'm a big stan if you will of Hemingway. After reading A Farewell to Arms, A Farewell to Arms by Hemingway, basically what I learned is that to become appreciative of the things because the dude literally went to war and got like limbs blown off and stuff and he was still able to be happy. What I'm saying is if you implement the stuff that you read on your day-to-day -day basis reading that you're supposed to be reading, if you go ahead and read at least one or two chapters a day and you think about it and you write stuff down and you journal, then you start to become not smarter, but more in a perspective of you're viewing stuff from like a third person, from an outside perspective. You start to put stuff into perspective. Thus, I didn't even realize that. I just started reading for fun and I just started noticing that my mind changed, my life changed. It literally like changed my life. Maybe not like to a great extent, but definitely put stuff into perspective, made me calmer, reduced my anxiety, and definitely made me more confident in my own life. So if you want all of this, what I would suggest to start reading more books. Anyway, all right, that's just about it. Thank you so much for uh, for listening to this. If you really do want to read more books, I would definitely highly recommend you reading more books because people have a lot of experiences. If you want to gain more experiences without actually having to live the experience, and if you want good life experience, if you want good, good I don't know, advice in general, definitely start reading more books. And uh, anyway, all right, uh, have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye.